Every year after an event like the Super Bowl or the World Series, a winning team goes to their city or town and they celebrate, usually with a parade where the athletes go through the streets and all the people celebrate and cheer and there's confetti and just celebration over the victory that was just had the days before. But how would it look if a team rode through their streets and had a parade before the Super Bowl or before the World Series? It would be a little strange, right? Because the parade symbolizes a victory that's already been had. It's a time of peace. We don't have to play the game or, or fight anymore. It's been won. Well, in ancient times, it was traditional for a king, especially in the Middle Eastern area, to ride out into battle on a war horse. But after the war and during times of peace, they would ride into town or back home on a donkey or a colt. It was a symbol of peace. Well, we get a glimpse of this in the Old Testament and it foreshadows an event that we're about to celebrate called Palm Sunday. In Zechariah, written about 500 years before the time of Jesus, we get a prophecy about the coming Messiah, a righteous king that would come in riding on a donkey. Zechariah 9, 9 through 10 says, Rejoice greatly, daughter Zion. Shout, daughter Jerusalem. See, your king comes to you, righteous and victorious, lowly and riding on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey. I will take away the chariots from Ephraim and the war horses from Jerusalem, and the battle bow will be broken. He will proclaim peace to the nations. His rule will extend from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. Then we fast forward roughly 500 years to Jesus, and he had done tons of miracles at this time uh, to prove that he was special, definitely holy, likely at least a prophet, hopefully a king, but actually, unbeknownst to most, he was the son of God. But many of the Jewish people of the day focused on only one aspect on what we call Palm Sunday, the beginning of the last week of Jesus' life here on earth. The people wanted a king to come and free them from their oppressors, which was Rome at this time. They wanted him to come in with his supernatural powers that he proved that he had, like riding on a war horse, if you will, and prove himself victorious to overthrow the government. But instead, he rode in on a donkey, a sign of peace. John 12, 12 through 16 describes this event says, the next day, the great crowd that had come for the festival heard that Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem. They took palm branches and went out to meet him, shouting, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the King of Israel. Jesus found a donkey and sat on it, as it is written, Do not be afraid, daughter Zion. See, your king is coming and seated on a donkey's colt. At first, his disciples did not understand all this, only after Jesus was glorified did they realize that these things had been written about him and that these things had been done to him. This would make sense if the battle had already been won, but it hadn't yet. But the battle was also not with Rome. What the people hadn't realized was that this king, this king of kings, he came not to free just Jewish people from Rome, but to save all people from all sin for all time the Prince of Peace had arrived for battle, but also already knowing that the battle would already be won.